Streptococcus pneumonia, or pneumococcus, is a very serious bacterial infection across all the age ranges. There are over 90 different subtypes of this bacteria, with seven of them causing over 80% of the invasive causes of disease. Now, this bacteria can cause several things, ranging from pneumonia, bacteremia, which is a bacteria in the blood, meningitis, which is an infection around the spinal cord and the brain, as well as ear infections and sinus infections. This bacteria can cause some severe infections that lead to some severe complications in that this pneumonia leads to 175,000 hospitalizations each and every year with a five to 7% mortality. The bacteremia leads to 50,000 hospitalizations per year with a mortality of 20%. The meningitis, 3,000 to 6,000 hospitalizations with a 30% mortality. And there are over 5 million ear infections each and every year. Now, this bacteria is in common inhabitant of our nose and our throat. So every time that anyone's on any antibiotics, this bacteria is being exposed and given the opportunity to develop resistant. And that's what's happened. This bacteria has become more and more resistant to antibiotics over the years, making the vaccine even more important. Now this vaccine is given to children at two months, four months, six months, and the final one given between 12 and 15 months. It typically isn't given to children over the age of five unless they have some complications. Things like cancer, HIV or AIDS, no spleen, or have a cochlear implant to help them hear. This vaccine has recently got an indication to be given one time to people over the age of 50 and then followed every year by the pneumonia vaccine. Contraindications of the vaccine are few, usually a prior history of a vaccine reaction such as an allergy or a moderate to severe illness at the time it's supposed to be given. Side effects are actually fairly common with pain at the injection site happening about 50% of the time. We can also have some swelling, some redness, and maybe some low grade fever, usually taken care of by some Tylenol or Motrin. But this has been a great vaccine. We've seen a huge decrease in the number of meningitis and severe pneumonias since it came out around 2000.